One person often overlooked on the tatami is the referee. IJF referees have to withstand the pressure of making split-second decisions in the heat of the moment. Lately, there has been an increase in former high-level judoka making the transition across to refereeing, and we asked head refereeing director Jan Schneiders why. First of all, these players and fighters are very passionate in our sport, with a lot of knowledge. That is what we like, a lot of knowledge in refereeing. I was uh, by myself as an old judo player, and I think I go to refereeing. Why? I like to make a good job, I like to be the best of the world, same like a judo player. And we hope in the future that we have this kind of fighters, special fighters, Olympic champions, world champions, and continental champions, to be a very good referee. One of these new referees is Uzbekistan's Ramzadin Sayadov, who we spoke to in Tashkent about the similarities and differences of being an athlete and being a referee. Now that I've become a referee, I have incredible feelings before I step out. They are similar, in fact, to those that I felt before fighting when I was a judoka. In the beginning, I feel a bit nervous, and then everything starts to settle down. I'm currently working on all of my exams in order to be a well-qualified referee. This tatami reminds me of the days when I was a judoka. Today, I'm here as a referee, and when I see the fights, I also want to fight myself. Now, as a referee, I can see all the little mistakes an athlete makes, and I really miss these moments. For me, the challenge is to make the right decision. When I was a judoka, it was necessary to be strong, so I was thinking about my physical ability. But now, I need to be mentally strong. Also, I need to be fair. I need to make the fair decision. But when I see actions, I want to move, I want to fight. I see a lot of techniques, and I remember them. I see the judoka and I feel their emotions.